Hi, my name is Bruce Lefebvre and I'm joined today by Andrew Topp. We're both senior computer scientists at Adobe working on AEM. Uh, Bruce and I teamed up to develop the AEM Dispatcher Optimizer tool, officially known as the DOT. So let's get into it. Uh, how did we get here? How is this thing useful? Over the last year, our team has worked on analyzing incidents affecting our Adobe Managed Services fleet of AEM environments. We found in about one third of all incidents we investigated, the dispatcher was either directly involved or could have otherwise been configured in a way that would have mitigated the impact of the incident. That doesn't really surprise me. The author and the publisher get a lot of attention. The dispatcher, not so much. Sometimes it actually becomes a like an afterthought. Uh, it's easy to make little changes or little syntax errors and little changes in value. Just little differences can make um, big, um, large consequences to your site. So how can we make this easier? Great question. In our investigations, we'd make recommendations about properties to change and best practices to adopt, but this simply didn't scale. Our colleagues on the Adobe Managed Services team had an idea to create a tool which would parse and analyze a dispatcher configuration for issues, similar to the dispatcher validator tool available as part of the AEM as a cloud service SDK. We took this idea and ran with it, and the result of this effort is a tool we're calling the Dispatcher Optimizer Tool, or DOT for short. Okay, so if I am an AEM a customer today, how can I make use of the dispatcher tool? And is it hard to set up? I'm glad you asked. There are two ways that the DOT can be used today. Number one, as a Maven plugin, and number two, as a step in the Cloud Manager pipeline of AMS programs. So let's go into a quick demo. I have here a AEM site project created from the AEM 6.x uh, archetype and I've opened up the dispatcher module. As you can see, it's got the standard layout of the module. Uh, these directories, this directory structure will be familiar if you've dug into uh, an AEM project's dispatcher module uh, before. The change I've made to enable the DOT to run is I've included a plugin definition in the dispatcher module's POM file. So that is uh, these lines here. And with this plugin included in the POM, I can run a new goal. So if I run the dispatcher optimizer analyze goal, this will run the DOT on the dispatcher module of my AEM project. I'll hit go. Now, when you do this on your own site, I do highly uh, recommend that you take a look at the log output. There will be some more context on any issues that were detected here, but we're going to jump right to the report. So we wrote the report to, so I'm going to open that up target dispatcher optimizer tool and results.html. We also provide a CSV report as well. At this point, I will bring the results down onto my screen. And what we're seeing here is a summary of everything that the DOT detected. This points to the exact file location and line number of the incident, or as close as we can get in the in the, some uh, instances, as well as a type and severity of the incident a short description and a link to documentation on how you can actually go go about resolving uh, the violation that was detected. So that's the first use case, the Maven plugin approach. And the next example I'm going in going to get into is how you can use the DOT as an AMS customer using Cloud Manager. So I'm looking at my Cloud Manager pipeline and I'll navigate to a non-production code quality pipeline that uses the uh, weekend site. We'll open up the details. And now I've run this pipeline uh, just one day ago. And as of yesterday, the DOT is now part of the Cloud Manager uh, code scanning step for all AMS pipelines. So because this pipeline has run since then, I'm automatically uh, having the DOT run against my dispatcher module and if I click download details and open up the resulting file, I will see that there are the, the previous issues detected that are the, the sonar cube and the oak pal issues that are detected as part of the code scanning step uh, previously. And also I have the DOT issues, uh, which I, I showed previously from running the Maven plugin. 
So this is a another example of how you can run the DOT, and there is no action required if you are a AMS Cloud Manager customer. You have these uh, have this tool running automatically on your pipelines going forward. Back to you, Andrew. Still surprises me how easy this is. Just add a few lines to your POM file to get that plugin in, run the analyze step, and boom, there are your reports. Okay, uh, just to summarize this, AMS customers using the Cloud Manager can run a code quality pipeline today, which automatically includes the DOT results. And the Maven plugin is released on the Maven Central and available for all to use. That's correct. We've put a couple of links in the description of the video if you'd like to find out more, including a link to a hands-on lab, which gives a very nice overview of the feature set of the DOT. Thanks for watching.